Hi everybody. I assume that's how you're supposed to start a YouTube video. That's how everyone does it, as if I know you and you know me. Uh, but anyways, hi YouTube. Today I am going to add some pedal extensions to my recumbent bike. I have a burly Django. It's an older one, but I love it. Um, I have a Shimano clipless pedals, and I have a hard time getting in and out of them. Uh, twisting on a recumbent isn't quite so easy. I'm hoping these uh, extenders will help with that. I'm also hoping the extra two inches uh, a foot width will help with uh, some knee issues I have. These are the pedals that are on the bike. And, uh, well, it looks like i got to make a stop to a bike shop. I'm missing a screw. These are the extenders. I ordered them off Amazon.com. And uh, let's get to putting them on have a tripod for this doing this with one hand while I'm holding the camera probably not the best option let's see I cheated a little bit I actually broke them free without filming it and I'm gonna do the rest of it without filming it and I will show you what it looks like when it's done well I got the first one on and to give you a little comparison here that's a pretty significant difference so hopefully it'll make a significant difference in my writing all right, I got them both on. It's a pretty significant difference. Um, hopefully, it'll be a lot more of a comfortable ride. I'm about to go for a ride. I have to go pick up an SD card from Best Buy. I will film that with my GoPro and edit it in here, and I'll let you know. Hello YouTubers, <clears throat> I'm back. Just got finished with my ride and made it to Best Buy, got my SD card. I'll tell you what, 10 miles in traffic, in weather, oh, a lot harder, a lot harder, much, much harder than 30 miles on a trail, even with the hills on the trail. Uh, I, I don't know, I just, <clears throat> oh, it kicked my ass. But anyway, the uh, pedal extensions. Uh, Jerry's still out on that. I don't have a verdict. Um, it does put my feet wider, uh, probably pretty even with my hips. Uh, I think it's going to help me keep my pants cleaner from the chain rubbing on them. I always get a little bit of grease on them if I'm wearing long pants. And if I'm barefoot, or not barefoot, bare-legged. I get grease on my leg, and this time I didn't get a lick of grease on me or my shoe. Uh, so, you know, that's a good plus. Uh, it's actually causing me to work different muscles than I've worked before. So that was, um, <clears throat> well, it was hell on wheels. Uh, pardon the pun. It, it was hell, and I was on wheels. Uh, but, yeah, the jury's still out on that. I'm going to have to give it some time, get some uh practice into it, build those new muscles up that I haven't used before, and then I'll be able to have a verdict, let you know if uh, if they're worth it. Um, ultimately, I think whether I think it's worth it or not, it's going to be a personal choice up to you, and they're not that expensive, like uh, maybe I think they were like $14 on Amazon. So anyway, uh, I'm off. Uh, you know the drill. Uh, you know, down there, there's the like button, subscribe button. The share button, the uh, watch the commercial all the way through 50 times button, uh, first burn child button, um, or if I'm just completely annoying the hell out of you, there's the uh, block button, I believe. So uh, I hope you don't use that, but if you do, you do. Anyways, uh, check out uh, my review on um, the IKEA pannier bag. Uh, it's pretty good. I've got a verdict on that one, and it will be in the review.